Hi, and welcome to this lesson on templates for WordPress themes. With this lesson, you will describe what theme templates are and how WordPress handles the final markup for you, understand how the templating system works, list and describe the typical templates found within a theme, and differentiate between templates and template parts. So let's dive in. What are theme templates and how does WordPress handle the final markup for you? Templates are files that represent the overall document structure of the front end. For a modern block theme, they are made up of block markup and render both static and dynamic data. Let's take a look at the template for a page. We'll open the pages template in the site editor and we'll open up the code editor to take a look at the block markup code. Block markup is identified by a specific HTML comments notation. It tells the page being rendered to render the output for that block. Additional information about the block, like attributes or inline styles, is passed to the block markup in a JSON format. WordPress parses this block markup and translates it into its final HTML markup within a web browser. Let's now take a look at how the templating system works. When someone visits a WordPress site's single post, the template used follows a set of rules outlined by the template hierarchy. Now this is a chart and it's available on wordpress.org. And note that the decision-making process moves from left to right within this chart. So for instance, if we think about our example, a site visitor navigates to a single post and the active WordPress theme doesn't include either the single.html or the singular.html templates, then it would default to using the index.html template. Let's take a look now at the typical templates found within a theme. These are the templates included within the 2024 theme. Let's go over some of the most common templates found within a theme. Let's start with the index template. As we know now, this is the fallback template file and it is a required file in all themes. Next, we have the single template and it is used when a visitor requests a single post as we saw in our example. Then we have the page template and it is used when visitors request individual pages. We also have the archive template. It's used when visitors request posts by archive type, for example, category or author. Then we have the search template and it is used for search results when a visitor does a search on a website. Then we have the 404 template and it's used when WordPress cannot find a post page or other content that matches the visitor's request. Let's now take a look at the difference between templates and template parts. Okay. We have a parts folder within our themes folder and it contains the template parts files. Template parts are meant to provide areas of web pages that are repeated and inherently remove the need to create them more than once. A good example of this is a header or a footer. 
and in addition they provide a consistent look and feel throughout the site. Templates can include either one or more template parts. However, you can opt to not have any at all. And this concludes our brief overview of WordPress templates. Note that you'll learn much more about creating templates and template parts in the Intermediate Theme Developer Learning Pathway.